Well, welcome to another Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 121. Today we're going to be making a short handled sludge uh, hammer. And my buddy asked me to, he has this 10 pound railroad spike sledge and he wanted a handle on it. And I was thinking, uh, trying to, to figure out how I could uh, kick it up a notch and finally uh, figured it out. I'm going to put a short handle on it. Well, I, I thought I'd invented something, but then I knew I didn't because I went, I went and Googled it and immediately, bam, uh, they sell uh, short-handled uh, sludges, sludges all, all the time. Well, anyway, we're not going to get anything done. Just sit here chatter and telling anecdotes. So let's, uh, let's get excited and get to work. It always happens like this. Whenever I think I've, I've come up with a good idea, I, I stop even uh, wondering if uh, it's an original idea because every time I think I've come up with a good idea, I Google it and find out that uh, they sell sludge hammers with short handles. And this is a 12 pound sledgehammer with a 16 inch handle. Here's an example, one of those Google images of a, I think this is about an eight pound with a 16 inch handle. This is the uh, sludge hammer head. Um, it's 10 pounds. It uh, looks pretty old. It's got some markings on it, but I can't make them out. But it does have a 10 right there and I measured uh, stamped into it and I measured I weighed it and it is a 10 pound sledge this is a fairly uh, standard uh, reinforced uh, plastic handle it's 30 inches long they uh, a lot of them you get have a 36 inch handle. This is the stock we're going to make our short handle out of. You can see the difference. This stock is, well, this is uh, 21 inches. We'll probably make it, cut it down to about 19 inches. First thing we're going to do is get the old handle out of this uh, head here. This uh, big drill bit should do it. Of course, I'm not using my uh, I'm not using my good chisels for this. These these are some old chisels I use as paint scrapers and a job like this. Currently my stock here is 11, 1 and 11 16 square and I need to narrow it down to a 1 and 3 eighths uh, so it'll be more of a, a rectangle. Now you can see that uh, the handle is uh, cut into kind of a an eight-sided, what is that, an octagon, right? So by sanding, sanding down each one of these little corners on my octagon, 
I can turn this thing into an oval. I'm over here on the uh, spindle sander and all I'm doing is walking it in. Now I got my hammer up here in the uh, vise and what I'm going to do is drive it in a little bit. Not too hard where I can't get it out. And then I'll I'll work it out. And now you see those uh, black marks all around there? Well that's where I need to uh, do some more sanding. In the old days guys used to use uh, uh, lamp black and here you can see all I did was sand off the, uh, the rusty spots. And let's put it back in there and see how we made any progress. There we go, we got a spot right there and some spots right in there. Let me sand that off. Well, that ought to do it. Now let's drive this puppy home. Put it What I'm doing here is uh, mixing me up uh, a tiny little bit of epoxy. This is way more than I need. I'm going to put it on this wedge. What you got to be careful of is your uh, hammer head. Trying to jump on you. I'm using my old uh, my old uh, dovetail saw because this epoxy really clog up really clogs up the teeth
I'm going to try to sand this without uh, without scuffing up without scuffing up the uh, patina. Here I'm putting in the uh, metal wedges. I got it down on the floor because they're probably not going to go in very easy. Well, I'm going to finish off the handle with uh, boiled linseed oil. That's what I put on my hatchet. That's a kind of the kind of the classic uh, stuff you put on axe handles. And we have it our short handled sludge hammer, sledge hammer, ten pound. Finish came out really good. I don't even see that see that wood, but it's really pretty. That does it for another Memphis Monday. Memphis Monday 121. Short hand uh, short handled sledgehammer. All right, I'm gonna work uh, worth it around my shop for a few weeks before I give it to the guy. Make sure it's uh, it's legit. But I think we got some takeaways. I think you saw just how easy it is to uh, make a handle. Uh, you don't need any fancy tools. You can do it with a sander. You can do it with a file. All righty. So I guess that's it. Uh, make sure you like and favorite and Facebook and tweet and Twitter and share and all that other stuff you do on the internet. I guess that's it. Oh, no, no. Make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for playing along.